a place dedicated to helping formerly incarcerated women rebuild their lives is coming to Harrisburg. The founder of the new program has a vision and a building. Hannah Brandt got an inside look and she joins us now live with more. Hannah. Yeah, Valerie, once someone gets out of prison, they have a lot of barriers to overcome to get their lives back, which is why so many people end up right back behind bars. But the people behind this new program are determined to stop that from happening for the women that come through their doors. New people are moving into 240 South 13th Street to be part of the GROW program. Which stands for giving real opportunities to women for our formerly incarcerated women coming home from prison. Reverend Michelle Simmons runs Why Not Prosper, an organization that provides transitional housing to former female prisoners in Philadelphia. This is not a new endeavor, it's just a new city, right? My heart beats for the women coming from prison. I'm a woman coming from prison. Simmons was in and out of prison for years. I know what it's like firsthand to want to get my children back and the system fighting against me. I know what it's like firsthand to want to get a job and keep having a mark. Yes, I got felonies in the box. But then she got clean and broke the cycle. It's not an easy feat, okay? It takes a lot of support. It takes a lot of encouragement. And now she encourages others like Joyce Granger. I was state raised in prison. I was 17 when I went to prison. The Philadelphia program supported her. So without places like Why Not Prosper, we had no way of really plugging into the resources that we needed. That was valuable to us as a Bible. And everybody wanted to give these women a second chance. Personally, it helped me to understand the value of being and being who I am and recognizing my vision. And she's joining the effort in Harrisburg. Just make it like home, you know? Moving in to help. So they don't go back to prison, so they don't fail. So they become better mothers, better women, better guardians of the community. Their vision is big, but they've already helped thousands of women get a second chance. A woman can't rebuild their life if they don't know where they're going to sleep, if they don't know where they're going to eat, if they don't know where their clothes are coming from. So this is why this is so important. They hope to transform this building. That is really important. That it's not like prison. They have their own doors. They have their own space. And more importantly, change lives. We write their narrative. We already know the history of the past and the trauma. I want to put some good stuff on clean pages. Granger will be living at the house full time to support the women and there will also be a case manager and a therapist on staff during business hours to help. Their plan is to